Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What works in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. going to be taken and this will be moved out to the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They'll start on the ground, ETN, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. This defense for the Dolphins, they were terrific last week in the win over Denver. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for them to step up and find the receivers downfield. Also made it hard for them to escape the pocket and run. Here is third down and four. to throw Lawrence a short throw to Ingram and he's going to be a yard short needed four but got three I thought they might take a shot down the field but instead they ran a little drag route there I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender but a really good job keeping the play in front of them and they force a fourth down and how about this one now in their own territory a gutsy call they're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. And they'll try and throw through it with Lawrence. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Devin Lloyd charging hard for that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they got right after him. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game of their teams. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 27 yards there, a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. A oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. A feather in the cap for the defender picking off one of the league's better quarterbacks so far this season. And add another feather in the cap for the coaches, too. Excellent game plan, and they had their guys aware of his ability to roll out and how to defend against it.
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and ten. Now Lawrence. And his pass incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now Lawrence. that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. Hey, so back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They go play action with Lawrence. Pressure comes, and down he goes. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sand. Here's Logan Cook now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And it'll be Dolphin football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they on paper, Charles, no doubt they have the edge in this one. They are sitting with the AFC elite. And on the other side, they're down toward the bottom of the AFC. But you know what they say, especially at this point in the season, watch out for a trap game. And in doing so, I would take my game plan and condense it. I would rely on my fundamentals, the fact that my players are probably just better, and not try and do too much, do just enough to win the game. And on the other side of the field, I'm doing everything. Every trick play I can think of, every different formation, you name it, I'm throwing it at them. They're all looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. It's Devin Lloyd with a pick. And the Jags will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. For a team who came in here on a healthy winning streak, we're seeing some uncharacteristically bad play thus far. And that streak is definitely in jeopardy if this offense keeps giving the ball away and can't mount a few drives of their own. Now ETN to start the drive. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. And they'll go again with ETN. And it's slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. I mean, look at this defense. They were terrific last week in the win over Denver. And all defensive teams that I know talk about creating turnovers. Takeaways, they call them. And anytime you can get two or more in a game, you've had a really, really good performance. They exceeded that number in a big way. On third down, Lawrence. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown of this game, partner. And that quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. Now remember, they were unsuccessful earlier in this first quarter. Going for it on fourth. They're going to try a second time. And they'll indeed go for it. Here's Lawrence. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't get in. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And that will force a turnover on downs. Now H.N. on first and ten. 
down to about the 37. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out as they did. They had a decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. On play action, they'll throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. They'll swing this out wide. Here's a chance. And he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the ten, just shy of the five at the six. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Dolphins go up by two touchdowns. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Hey, hey, so here's a first hey. and 10 at the 38. A give to ETN running right to about the 40-yard line. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's a second and eight. Another toe for ETN. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. The Jaguars on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. Here's Lawrence. He's got his target. That's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A big play there on the catch and run. 33 yards. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there. That shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. Now the play clock hits zero here, and we're going to get a delay. Right, let's go. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. 11, 11. Hey, count zero. 11, add it. Still. Lawrence. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. 
And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. From the shotgun, Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Bigsby. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. they got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Well, one of the linebackers has got it. I give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from them, but that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They'll take over deep in their own end after the fumble recovery as they start first and ten. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Second and six. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. They're going deep for Hill. It's a big play there for Miami. 68 yards. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. They'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Jalen Waddle from a yard out. And the Dolphins take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. 
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And this, you'd hate to say that a drive in the first half must end in points, but you're down 21-0. They're going to have to get something going fairly quickly. I would agree totally with that because if you're going to mount the comeback, it's going to have to come in bits and pieces. It doesn't just all come at one time, right? We haven't seen anything more than a six-point touchdown ever in this game, right? So that's how it has to be done. Get points on the board now. Start your comeback, but you're exactly right. Let's get it going right here in this spot. Rolling to his left. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. 39 yards there, a big one. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. ETN once more. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Third and four. Lawrence will throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. stays put. They failed twice already in this first half, but they're going to go a third time here on fourth down. Now Lawrence to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. And that's caught inside the 35. Down the left sideline. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Dolphins are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the round is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 
And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Stay right open, open. Dirty left. Think right. 13 loop, loop. Here we go. On first down, Lawrence. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Right, let's go. Now second and three. Here's Lawrence to throw. Going up top. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They've had multiple opportunities on offense and still haven't scored any points. Felt like they wanted to loosen things up, throw it downfield, and see if maybe they could get a big play and a quick strike. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half, it's Lawrence. And his throw is incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here as they begin their first series of the second half. I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Dancing to his left. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, no surprise there. He was looking for one of his favorite targets again as soon as he left the pocket. But the coverage was good downfield. They got right to the receiver and helped prevent that completion. Here's second and ten. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. On second down, a run by a chance. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Jaguars are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38 yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 38 yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
Now they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. And looking for Kirk, but this pass is intercepted. Picked off by Cam Smith. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, I mean, if you get it, they're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't dented the scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here. And that one, it backfired in a big way. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. On the return, it's Washington. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlaw. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. This is second and eight. Another run by Bigsby. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. On play action, Lawrence. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley, 63 yards. And the Jaguars are able to at least get one score back. Well, they had gone run the previous play. Nice little setup. This time they go play action. Defense bites a bit. And they hit for a big play in the end zone. So they sold it really well, didn't they? Because of just what you described. They ran at the previous play. Come back with the same action. And now they step back and throw it and get a big play for a touchdown. But what happens as a defensive back is your eyes have to go to the right place. You always hear Coach talk about, are your eyes in the right spot? Well, this time the eyes went to the play action. It froze their feet. They weren't moving. And he went on past them and caught the pass for a touchdown. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Still well in control of this ball game despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Andre Sisco. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Go, go. Take right open. Open. Looking to throw Lawrence. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Second and 10. Here's Lawrence again. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. 
And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Back to throw. Lawrence. He's got this complete to Ridley. Touchdown, Jaguars! Calvin Ridley, halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Jaguars take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points, but he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple of more times to give them a chance. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 58 yards. And this is one of the toughest parts about being a defensive back. When a play breaks down like this, you're taught to plaster to a receiver. Find the nearest one and adhere yourself to it. But you can only stay with the receiver so long if the play continues to develop. He knows where he's going. You do not. Back to throw now on first down. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and 10. They're going to look to throw. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle from 13 yards out as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. their lead to 28. Jason Sander is the kickoff for Miami. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. But we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like this is caught inside the 15? Touchdown, Jaguars! Calvin Ridley, a dynamo since the break. Three third-quarter touchdowns. And the Jaguars are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. 
And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, give that water break and get on out there and play. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play there for Miami, 57 yards. Boy, this has just been an offensive clinic. It's seemingly been one big play after another, after another, and add this one onto the list. When you can bite off more than half the field on one play, <laughs> things are definitely working in your favor. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Brings up second and four at the 11 yard line. Second and four. And it's caught. And the Dolphins are going to be set up for the first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. It'll be first and goal when we come back. Now receiver in motion left. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Dolphins extend this fourth quarter lead, and they are getting closer and closer to win number 11. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that will increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think this is what this game's become now. You just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. Second and 10 now, it's Lawrence. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. The incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. On third down, Lawrence. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. 
You can almost see all the defenders rubbing their hands together with glee because we all know they relish the chance to bring down a quarterback of his caliber. Anyone who brings him down has plenty to talk about. Not just a sack, but a big win built off the efforts of this defense. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And now, boy, the ball is going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. And a failure on fourth down on the other side leads immediately to a first and goal. On play action, they'll throw. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. A nine-yard touchdown there. The Dolphins start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Now, we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. Under pressure, they got him again. Bradley Chubb, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack, just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Play action. It's Lawrence. The left side completion to Jones. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. He'll air this one out for Kirk. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, just another reason to celebrate there on the defensive side with the interception, and this is a game that they clearly have firmly in their grasp. Yeah, a lot of handshakes, a lot of hugs, a lot of smiles. It's been their day. Let's go. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Achan. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit but as far as the actual need you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one it was over a long time ago and they're going deep for Hill and oh my goodness here's a fifth interception picked off by Tyson Campbell and he'll take it across midfield and down the 48 yard line 
A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Take right open, open. Dirty left. Sink right. Again on second and 10, it's Lawrence. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And this crowd has certainly liked what they've seen. Their guys fully expected to win this one coming in, and they have not disappointed as they've got the big lead here in the fourth. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game. And they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are. Let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all. But in today's football, you just go ahead and save her. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. They'll look to throw now on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game. And now here is another interception. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off, and the Jags are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. Partner, have you ever heard the story of Icarus in mythology? That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. He keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. And he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 20. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Now a second and ten. They go play action now. Lawrence. And my goodness, another interception. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. 
That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A really good pickup of 28 yards. They probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Back to throw. He'll buy some time right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one, and oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. Second and one. Sliding out of the pocket. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Try to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball. But he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. Yeah, several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown. And frankly, that should have been another pick right there. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive hey, players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find with they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. Well, this defense has been smothering all game long. Why not give them two more points? here in the closing minutes. Well, they've certainly earned it. They've gotten the better of this offensive line for four quarters, and this sack here will just be a little icing on the cake. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And it would seem as if their three-game winning streak is about to go to four, but still a little work to do as they start first and ten. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. A very solid gain of 27. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows? They've got his man complete. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Sanders on for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Yeah, so we're right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that framework and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do 